and welcome December 16, 2017. We're looking at the surface of the moon of many videos and great collection of footage clips that I've accumulated and amassed over the years of, well, just this year. And, you know, I've been doing this for a year and four months. I'd like to say, I'd love to say that I've been doing this for 10 years, but I have not. Imagine what we will be finding in 10 years time. Guys, imagine the size of our big, glorious exploring telescope. What will we be doing in 10 years time on Bruce Sees All? Because this is um, my work, my hobby, my fun, my hardship, and my retirement plan. I'm gonna be here forever. So I'm going to be meeting a lot of trolls, but you know what? That's nothing, guys. I've met so many amazing people. We are at 7,000 subscribers right now, and I'm very proud of the community. I'm very happy and thankful and grateful, of course, for all the contributions, for everyone who comes by here. I can't say it enough, and I'll say it every single video because I am authentically grateful. We're gathering. I mean, guys, we're always going to disagree. Even the closest people can disagree with one another, but it doesn't mean that we have to you know, thrash each other or stop talking to one another. We will disagree, guys. You will disagree with my out-of-the-box, unorthodox theories and speculations and hypotheses about space and time. Speaking of space and time, while we look at these beautiful cities, okay? We're going to just say cities on the moon. Um, it's structuring those who look close, those who understand, those who are pipe workers. I mean, <laughs> it's sort of obvious. Space and time. You know how we often uh, get questions about why do they say uh, we can go in space and go to the past or see a part of the past? And one guy asked me, I want an answer to this bloody question. And I said, you know what? I'm going to tell you an exact answer to that question. And it's sort of hard to wrap your mind around it. While we're looking at this beautiful footage here, coming just underneath Plato Crater, seeing the beautiful colors on the surface, Aristarchus Crater coming up. Space and time. We're living on a planet, okay? Whether it's flat or not, it's not part of this discussion. I just wanted to bring it up to turn a few daggers in someone's side that, you know, doesn't like flat earthers. But anyways, um, the surface... Of earth where we are we are in the physical realm you know when there's um, space outside of this moving celestial object okay there's space that's what's outside of our environment here if we break through that whether it be the Kuiper belts whether it be the waters that are separating like it's written in the Bible I know there's so much information out there but let's just rake it all in and you know what when you take in the, the pros and the cons of every side, guys, of, of what everyone's saying. It, it is associated with one another. You know, there's good energy and bad energy. There's bad energy and good energy. You know, we're a mixture of the both. So take both sides. Look at this structure. Take both sides of the stories, put them all together, and then formulate your story. Don't just go to one side. You know, you have to look at everything that's going on in life. And sometimes we have to view some videos and channels that we don't always appreciate. But you have to say to yourself, you're going to learn from that. We're all going to learn from that. What we're seeing, I have so many techniques, guys, uh, of getting uh, objects in space now. I'm really happy for it. The ones that are just arriving, please take the time to view uh, the channel. I'm getting asteroids. I'm getting comets. I'm getting the photos of them. I'm getting them on proper dates and, and a lot of people still aren't believing me. But we're beyond that now because, guys, we're 7,000 researchers now and maybe even more now while I'm doing this video. Uh, I'm very happy uh, that you people are coming here to just share your thoughts and just to, to view my work. And some of you are a lot smarter than, than me, most of you. And a lot of you don't have the telescopes and you're coming here and they have the appreciation of my time and effort to try and show it to you guys. And I love you all for it. So this is how we are going to get along, guys, really well, because I'm here for you. I'm going to try to um, get as much as I can done. A couple days coming, 
Ooh, I'm going to cut myself off right here and ask you to look at the light on the screen. To the left of that light, you can see what looks like grids or walls. The marker was there. I showed you where it is. It's the same on the other crater on the right, the big crater at the bottom. So if you pause it right here, you could see that a very long line, a couple hundred kilometers, comes down to a maze-like walled area. If you look around the surrounding crater, you could also see that there are many anomalies around the craters. Here it is at the top, the white spot just underneath that white crater um, dot that's in the crater. You could see a black towering object. Do you see the shadow? Look at the crater. That There it is, top left. That line of light, the, uh, not light, the black line that you see that's over top of that white object, what is it? It looks like a tower. That's not a shadow. It may be a structure. We're mistaking many dark objects on the surface as being shadows, and they are not all shadows. Bridge on the right here crossing over a crater, more structuring on the left, walls. Why are they there? They should not be on the surface of the moon at all. That's for sure, because we were told they weren't there. Here's another straight edge, dark, shadowed, either structure or uh, shadow. It could be a shadow. No, here's a structure, one of the biggest. This is right on our side of the Earth, my friends. At the bottom side of the moon, just a bit off to the right, under Mare Fecunditatis, you can see these symmetrical craters. Why would craters be symmetrical? Top left, you could see a straight platform, very straight, almost like a runway strip. Object lit at the end, couple objects lit at the other end, different shapes. These have to be examined. Top center, top right. You could see coming out of the surface uh, something a little strange. I show this one pretty often. I have showed it before. But again, some people come here and have not seen it yet. And see to the right there. It's just a, a white line coming out of the surface. These anomalies. I don't have the proof, guys, that they're structures. But you know what? These were built. I don't believe in any way, not any way in hell, that these objects are naturally formed. How can this Clavius crater that you see here with the one, two, three, four impact craters on top, are you serious? We were taken for fools to be told that these were craters. Oh my goodness. I feel like a stupid idiot believing that Clavius crater was a, 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 actually a crater. When I got a telescope, I went and looked for myself and I could clearly see no. The moon is not what people are expecting it to be. Nor is it gray. Nor is it gray in any way. Beautiful anomalies here on the side of the moon. Hey guys, I just want to tell you a bit about my morning. I woke up, first of all, good morning. I should have started by that. I woke up this morning at 5, actually 4.46. I put the alarm deliberately on it. Because every time I go to work <laughs> during the week, the sun is... Uh, no, not the sun. The moon is amazing at five in the morning. Just amazing. Some of you have to understand that in minus 32 weather, you guys that live in the States and, and live in only heat have no clue what the atmosphere is like on a cold morning. You can spit, it falls as an icicle. I will show you uh, in the following days if it's still in the minus 30 weather. I'll throw a cup of uh, hot mojo or uh coffee or whatever up in the air and, and or hot water boiling water and you will see it instantly turns not the crystals it turns into a cloud a real cloud and the moon at 5 a.m on december 15th yesterday when i got it that people flipping out saying it's blurry guys it's a crescent moon that i showed you the full moon and there's a haze in the sky it's 5 a.m there it, 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 you could see the cold oscillating in front of the moon. No, it's atmospheric disturbance, yes. Cold, water molecules in the air. It's freezing in the air. You know when you put water in a freezer, but then you take it out and you bang it on the counter and it turns to ice? Well, it's the same thing that's happening in the sky right now and it's between crystallizing because it's so cold in the air that the water molecules are now becoming dense crystals. 
somebody said the moon was blurry. Guys, the moon's not there. It's not the full moon, it's a crescent moon. The moon is not there. I showed the full moon. It's blurry because there's no light on it. They turn the lights off. <laughs> so to release some confusion, just a heads up. Uh, this is sinus iridum. Look at the straight path. I can't get over it. So guys, this channel, when you come here, I've only used the telescope and two cameras here. A P900 and HS50 EXR. Both one's 2,000 millimeters, one's 1,000 millimeters. The telescope is a 1,500 millimeter SLT uh, Celestron telescope that I'm using, computerized star finding telescope, which I've never even had to calibrate. I've just been pointing to the moon ever since while you're looking at the structures on the surface here. Now, the moon, guys, I'm only using this, the four inch telescope. When I use the big telescope, I will indicate every single video that it is the CGXL. In less than two days, I'm sure, positive, the retailer even told me Monday I should get my stock. I'll be making the video very soon about it. We're in the cold weather here, doesn't matter. We get five, six days of cold weather and two days of nice weather. Hoping the moon will be at the same time in consideration to it. I have plans of building an observatory. I will fill you with the details once I get information from the town if I'm allowed to build. These surface structures are, I don't, I can't understand how some people can't see them. And I can't understand how people can't think that they would be human made or alien made in the triangle dead center there. Black structure, dark structure. Have you guys heard of what they are growing called blacker than black? It's um, something that is alive basically right because they're growing it okay while well, you look at these structures on the surface and look how things connect um, blacker than black they showed a picture for the first time of a mask there's a place in the world that they're going to build a black building you will hear about it soon um, the building is supposed to be blacker than the color black blacker than our eyes have ever seen what we see here as black is only dark gray the black when you look at it it's like looking into deep space and these structures on the moon are from this growth i'm positive they can build forms with that they can grow their structures now that's out of the box so with that said, you can only imagine what they're going to do with this growth. They're going to solidify it. They're going to use it as camel, as paint. They're going to paint planes this black. It is blacker than black. It is so black that in the night sky, you would probably see this object going by. Scientists have developed an, a color blacker than black. In reality, you know, many people think black is the absence of light. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean that, but unless you're looking at a black hole, nobody has actually ever seen something that has no light. These new materials, pretty much as black as we can get, almost as close to a black hole as we could imagine. So what are they going to use? <laughs> Uh, this material for you know if they were to make a dress out of it you would lose all features of the dress it would be just something black passing through oh interesting very interesting the list of these wonderful people that you've just seen both pages are people that have helped contribute to this channel have raised Generous amounts of money, guys. We got a wonderful 14-inch telescope. Two days, the converter should be here. Monday should be here. It's it's real now. Everything is going to be here. The T adapter is going to be here. Check out Steve Olson at WSO YouTube channel. Caustic Springs in India, melting plastic. Guys, check it out.